Most likely if you've stumbled across this video, it's because you're trying to remove the VSS, uh, the speed sensor for your Ford Escort. No great way to remove this <clears throat> from the top of the transmission housing. And everybody will find they end up making, pulling the top part out, the shaft comes out, and then you're stuck with uh, the body of the sensor. Damn you. Still jammed down inside the, uh, the housing. Um, I'll go ahead and show you real quick and give you the sizes that are necessary to speed the process along. So the, you end up needing a quarter 20 uh, tap and a 3 8 16 tap. You need a basic slide hammer and a couple of bolts. Uh, the first thing you'll do when this sensor is still inside the, uh, the body of the transmission, there is a sleeve bushing here. And that sleeve bushing is pressed inside the housing and a quarter 20 will thread right down inside there. Once you've threaded that, screw your bolt in, use your slide hammer and knock it out. So this pops out real easy. Then the body is pretty close to the exact right size. Uh, I think the OD of, uh, I think the OD of this bushing is, is uh, 5 16 uh, So it works out really, really well. It's close enough, at least for an aluminum housing, to use a 3 8 16 uh, tap right inside the housing without going ahead and drilling it. So I used a 3 16 18, uh, an eight point socket and reach down in there and tap this. Once you've done that, screw your 3 8 16 bolt in there. I had to create some flats on the sides of the heads there. So the uh, fork of my uh, slide hammer could pull and really it didn't take much. I didn't have much access between um, some of the plumbing and the firewall in order to make a few strikes, but it didn't take much and, uh, and this sensor popped right out. So rather than try and hunt and look for a different way of doing this, um, like I said, I tried using vice grips. And you can see a piece of it broke off here, I'm trying to pull it up from the top. I tried using a, a uh, a chisel from the bottom and driving this up. I uh, even tried using one from the top as well and trying to catch the corner. There's just really not a great way to do this from the top. Save yourself some time. Go ahead and do the quarter 20 and then the 3 8 16 and a slide hammer. And even with me screwing around, it, it took me three hours uh, to do this from start to finish. If I had just gone with the, with the, uh, the taps, I probably could have saved an hour with the time. Hope this helps you. Good luck.